The family is planning to hold a vigil for Secret Pierce tomorrow. Hartford police tell us she was sitting in a parked car in the Asylum Hill neighborhood when another car came flying down the road and bullets started flying. It's believed that three men who were standing on the sidewalk on Huntington Street were the intended targets. Those men were injured as well, but they are expected to be okay. They're 16, 18, and 23 years old. Now, Mayor Luke Ronan is calling on these men to share everything they know as the search for the killers continues. I believe they know who fired the bullets that killed the 12-year-old girl. And I believe that one of the bullets that was intended for one of them took the life of a 12-year-old girl. Now, the mayor told News 8 all three of them had an extensive criminal history, including multiple firearm arrests. HPD does have surveillance video, which is helping in this investigation. The search for the killers is still underway. Anyone with any information is being urged to call Hartford Police. Such unnecessary. We've watched it too many times. Many people are devastated by the senseless killing of Secret. They tell News 8 this news hits differently when you're talking about a child's death. They want something to be done to stop the cycle of gun violence. Now... You got a 12-year-old girl dead. You got a mother that got to bury a child. And the whole family is devastated. Not only the family, but our whole community is devastated. So we got to do better than that. And more than just change the laws. Something got to be done for within this city, the urban city, to change the cycle of violence. This child, to have her life snatched before it got started. I have a 13-year-old. I have a 15-year-old daughter. I have an 18-year-old daughter. I am speaking from a father's standpoint, a feeling that the anger I would have if that was my child. Now, Mothers United Against Gun Violence is going to hold a rally in March to raise awareness on gun violence prevention tomorrow morning in Hartford.